Good evening, it's Friday, June 14, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Sherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. Police authorities will initiate an investigation against God the Father Almighty Credit Cooperative for failing to deliver the promised vehicles to its buyers. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. The Labangon Police Station will initiate an investigation against God the Father Almighty Credit Cooperative for failing to deliver its promised vehicles to their clients. Labangon Police Chief Hendricks Bancoleta said they will conduct a joint investigation with the Regional Criminal Investigation and Detection Group to cater to GTFACC clients who sought assistance. 30 individuals have already filed a complaint before the police and the Cooperative Development Authority against the GTFACC. Victims said the credit cooperative failed to release its promised vehicles, although they already gave their down payment. In an official statement release, GTFACC Chairman Christopher Tundag said, The problems of unreleased vehicles is due to the non-compliance of their supplier. Tundag added that they had requested full refund from their supplier to settle the issue and resolve the pending transactions. The GTFACC Chairman said they will also be filing legal charges against their supplier. Tundag said they temporarily closed their main office in Barangay Tisa, Cebu City due to the alleged threats from some members that will compromise the safety of their staff. Meanwhile, CIDG Central Visayas Chief Lito Patay said all scam victims may come to their office to file an estafa case against illegal investment firms. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Thirteen companies in Mandawi City were given a show cause order by the Social Security System to resolve the violations they committed. The companies given a show cause order were Giardini del Sol, Clint Camps Corporation, Fialo Trading Corporation, EFM Staffing, Cheryl Serino, Soco Motorcycle Parts, E-Style and Inspiration in Photography, YSS Motor Shop, Unishop Enterprises, Unite General Merchandise Incorporated, RLB Apparel Shop, Sabrewery Artisanal Ales and Lagers Production, and MA Consuelo Food Service. Some violations these companies committed include failure to remit employees' contribution, non-production of records, non-registration, and non-reporting of employees. The operation called Run After Contribution Evaders or RACE started with a meeting with company representatives to remind them of their obligations. RACE is a simultaneous activity in four pilot areas in the country that include Mandawi City, Mandaluyong City, Dipolog City, and Pampanga. If companies fail to resolve their violations, they will face criminal charges. With its new facilities, the operator of the Binalio Landfill is confident that it will get the support of Cebu City's new leadership. Here's Jeremy Librea for the details. The operator of the private landfill in Barangay Binalio, Cebu City is confident that they will get the support of Mayor-elect Edgardo Labella. Arn Central Waste Management Incorporated Executive Director Sherwin Santos said they will show that they are compliant and that their facility is beneficial to the city to get the support of Labelia. The contract between the Cebu City Government and Arn was agreed during the administration of outgoing Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña. The sanitary landfill has been receiving garbage from around 40 haulers from Cebu City, Mandawi City, Compostela, and Consolacion. Santos said they want to provide the entire metropolis a modern and innovative disposal facility, adding that they are in the position to support Cebu City's waste management program. Santos said the 15-hectare land area in Benalu will house a material recovery, an engineered sanitary facility, treatment and waste processing facility, and waste-to-energy facility. The ARN director said the material recovery facility will be completed by the end of August. And by July 1, the private landfill will officially start its operation. I am Jara Libria reporting from Arn Sanitary Landfill in Barangay Binalio for News Bits tonight.
The Visayan Electric Company has announced a power interruption this Saturday and Sunday in some of its service areas. On screen are the areas that will be affected by the power interruption that will last up to eight hours. VECO said the power interruption is due to the relocation of poles, installation and removal of transformers, replacement of secondary lines, and reconstruction of primary lines. Here's the latest in sports with Kenneth Torres. History has been made. This after the Toronto Raptors clinched their first ever championship after winning Game 6 of the NBA Finals at the Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. The Raptors defeated the Golden State Warriors in a thrilling match, 114-110, ending the series with 4-2 and stopping the Warriors to get their third straight championship. Kyle Lowry finished with 26 points, 7 rebounds, and 10 assists to lead the Raptors. Pascal Siakam also went for 26 points, while Cowhill Leonard and Fred Van Vliet scored 22 apiece. Clay Thompson left the floor in the third quarter to get his left knee checked out after he was fouled and landed awkwardly. He then re-emerged to a wild cheering by the fans to make his two free throws. Thompson led the Warriors with 30 points. Andre Godala chipped in 22 points, while Stephen Curry added 21 points. Curry missed a three-pointer with about five seconds left. The Raptors were given a free throw in a ball possession after the Warriors called for a timeout despite having no timeouts left. The last game at the Oracle Arena was also the end of the Golden State's reign. King of the North, Cowhill Leonard, bagged the Finals MVP award. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.